You can hang out with the jig in the moment. Unusual uh, shape, isn't it? I'm a kill. This is Hummock Hill in Wyala. <laughs> this is a bit of a walk around actually. Have uh, a look at the Spencer Golf. This little city of Wyala, lovely little spot. The reds, the purples, the yellows, the iridescent colors as well. So before we understand a bit about their behavior, why they're changing colors, what they're doing, we need to understand a little bit about their biology. Right? Getting bulking themselves up a little bit. Um, because when they're here, they're not feeding at all. Okay? These ones actually will be snacking bits and pieces here and there. Um, and if you jump in the water, you can hear around there. So it'd be the ones that are here, they migrate a bit further south, just along the coast. Our, our 3D scans and getting underneath the rocks, um, we'll we'll be able to actually see like how many eggs are hatching. So understanding, you know, from the from the first stages of life, the early stages, understanding what the mortality rate is of or the survival rate of the young uh, versus, you know, I guess when they're older. So there, there have been there has has been a, a little bit of study done on it, but. <laughs> Not a lot. Most of the information that we really know about cuttlefish, as far as their biology and some of their behaviors, is from studies done in captivity. How about kill one? Ada. Ryan Gardens. Carl's Jetty. Boat ramp. Nice little town, actually. High street, high street. Oh, no, bay. Good little town, actually. A little being the opposite word. Nice little spot here at the Port Lincoln Caravan Park, which is 10 kilometers outside of town, but anyway, love the spot, Boston Bay.
by. Nice, beautiful farmland behind there. Take them this way. Yeah. Here we go. Tasmanian weather. Come back at five minutes for the weather. Back in Port Lincoln again. Oh, the swat actually. Oh, nice. Just count. Here in Port. Lincoln? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of little bees here, actually. Port Lincoln over the, over the outside of the bay. Bay National Park. Hello. Yeah, it's like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's what that. Lots of kangaroos around, lots of emus too. Cobham Bay Yacht Club and my yacht out there. Oh. On the way to Elliston. Yeah. About there. Only 500 metres up the top of the cliffs, but can't be bothered walking up there. Yeah. Elliston. Elliston, 
worth of better views alone. Murphy's haystacks on the road to Streaky Bay. Oh my god, they're amazing actually. Just in the middle of the paddock, like this. Well, wait, there's more. Streaky Bay Jetty. The jetty somewhere. Yeah, jetty somewhere. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Are you gonna go off in the bush or what? Or he's just gonna yeah. play dead. <laughs> that sand dude down at the beach and a lot of dolphins out there which we can't see, but yeah. Right along there to the, the beginning of this great Australian buy, I reckon. We're at Denial Bay. I mean denial. And there's a jetty somewhere. Right across the bay, you can see the soil over there. Now back to South Australia. Roads go on forever. They're straight, aren't they? off. Came back in. Quite nice here actually. A lot better than I expected the channel to be. There's caravan back for it. Alexander's Beach, you'd swear blind you're in the middle of nowhere, wouldn't you? Hmm. There's the jetty there, and back to the town. Lovely little Wurula. So cute, so country.
little bit of a rock. Pretty awesome, but I tell you what, that's an awesome rock in there too. Wilmington Caravan Park. Pretty little spot actually. Yeah. Lovely little picking area this is at Oruru. Absolutely gorgeous. The Darling River at Will Kenya. Will Kenya Township. We're at our cookies. Sam and Lair, right around to the old Derek. This is Bob Christensen Reserve here at Warren. It's lovely. It's a really beautiful spot and nice and warm. Oh, yum. <laughs> Someone's going down the river. Lovely spot down there. The township of Warren. It's lovely. 